and welcome back to another lesson in Micronome Toolbox. Now we're always looking for things that will help the efficiency or streamline our process. So in this video, I'm gonna show you something we could do when we're working on our shop drawings to avoid any discrepancies or issues that we may get when we're updating our scale, but it's not updating in our view label. So follow along and let's get into another lesson in Micronome Tree. Currently the way that you have to work with these drawing labels is by going to the lookup list and selecting the drawing scale that you're working in. That might not be the most efficient way to do it. We can set it up a little bit differently by inserting a field inside of this drawing label block, and that way it'll update any time we change our viewport. Now, because this block is in paper space, it has to reference something about this drawing. First off, I'm just gonna activate the viewport, kind of see what happens when we change the scale. Nothing happens to that drawing label. What we wanna do is automate that. Anytime we update the drawing scale, we want this drawing label to update as well. So first thing, using the edit text, edit the attributes of this block, and then highlight the, the text that's next to the scale attribute. There you can right click and insert field. Make sure in the field category that we have objects selected. Now select the field name object, and we're gonna select something inside of this drawing. And the object that we're gonna select is this viewport that we're working in. And now with the property, these are the different properties of this viewport. So we'll select custom scale. And that's just the different format. We can change that, but that one typically is a good one to use. Hit OK, and now you can see it's highlighted in gray to let you know that it's using a field inside of AutoCAD. Now just changing our scale again from our scale list and see what happens. We'll update it in model space. Now you gotta go back into paper space and use the RE or regen command. That'll update the scale. And then activating the viewport again, changing it to three quarter. And now we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the one below. Now, because that's a different drawing label block, we're gonna have to do the same thing to this one. It needs to look to a different viewport so we can make sure that we're keeping them separate. Make sure we have custom scale selected. I'm just going back and testing, changing our scale inside of the viewport and then back out into paper space RE for regen, and there you can see the scale changed. Let's do that one more time. Just to show you how we can go back to a smaller scale and also that it doesn't affect the viewport or the drawing label above it. So because we're looking to two separate objects, we're able to keep them separate. And let's just go back to a three quarter scale, do it to both viewports, and then back outside in paper space. RE and now they both update. So that's how you can automate that process if your view label is in paper space. But I want to show you what you can do if you use a view label that's in model space. So here's a cool little trick. You're able to push an object from paper space into model space. You can also reverse it and pull an object from model space into paper. Start off with the space where your object is. Now type CHSPACE in the command line, short for change space. Then select the object that you want to change and hit enter. Now it's picked up that viewport above, so just select inside of the viewport where you want that object to go, and now it's in model space. Here we go, if we go back into our drawing, you can see, there it is. And then to reverse it, just do the same thing, type in change space, make sure you're starting off in model space, and then select that object, and hit enter, and it's back in paper space. But what I'm trying to show you needs to be done in model space. We want that scale attribute to update based on what scale we're drawing in inside of model space. So just repeat that step again, put that view label back into model space. Now that we have that, let's unlock that viewport so we can change the scale. So because it's still referencing the viewport object, that scale attribute won't update if the view label is in model space. All we gotta do is go into that attribute, edit the field. We're gonna change that field category to all. It's gonna be looking to a system variable and that system variable is called Cano scale, short for current annotative scale. And once you got that, just hit okay and change our scale again. Type RE and there we go. Now we got our new scale updated. So that's at least one thing you can do to help automate the process a little bit, eliminate some of that redundant work as you're going through your drawings and getting them prepped to send off to your customer. So that completes another lesson in Microvellum Toolbox. Thanks for joining us.